Things got pretty heated tonight as the Young Democrats and college Republicans debated the Iraq War and global warming. The Republicans began with their statement about the war. We need to understand that Saddam Hussein was a dangerous man and that his removal is not only good for the Middle East, but it's good for the entire world and, in effect, for the United States. When we went into Iraq, we sent a message to the other regimes in the world that choose to pursue uh, rogue weapon systems. It's the day we launched the invasion, Libya came forward and got into secret negotiations to give up their nuclear program. We can see that success, that we can no longer allow the Middle East to be the way it is. It of course, the Democrats were anxious to make their rebuttal. There was little to no al-Qaeda presence in Iraq, and that which was there was being contained and was considered an enemy of Saddam Hussein. Because of the chaos we created, they were able to enter. I completely agree that Saddam was a bad guy. I'd also like to point out that there's tons of bad guys all over the world, plenty who are a whole lot worse, and plenty more who are a whole lot more worse now than they were in 2003 because the United States has been tied down in Iraq and, un and unable to discipline them elsewhere. Before getting serious, the Democrats got some laughs with their opening statement. When I hear my Republican friends talk about the war in Iraq, I, I actually feel the same way I feel when I hear Britney Spears talk about KFED. <laughs> because I think it's a shame when smart people have to defend a mistake. The National Intelligence Estimate released last April says the invasion and occupation of Iraq gave birth to a whole new generation of Islamic radicals. And the overall terror threat has actually increased since 9-11. The only responsible course open to our leaders is to save our resources, to save our troops, and to save our national honor by getting us out of this long, bloody, senseless nightmare. The college Republicans were ready with their response. Well, we have to remember that Islamic terrorism has been a massive threat for decades, well before Iraq. Fighting the terrorists in Iraq is vital because it brings the conflict closer to a conventional military conflict, and that's where our advantage is. Next on the agenda, global warming. The Young Democrats came equipped with charts and graphs to prove that humans are the cause of climate change. Uh, humanity has had an undeniable impact upon the Earth. We've built a wondrous civilization, but we've also driven animal species to extinction and eradicated entire ecosystems in our search for progress. This slide illustrates carbon dioxide levels over the past 50 years, and as you can see, it has been steadily increasing, as has recorded global temperature. As we burned fossil fuels, the levels of carbon dioxide began to rise in our air. The college Republicans weren't convinced. We don't know conclusively whether humans are causing the warming trend that climate models are currently, in, are currently indicating. Even if we were to assume that humans are playing a part in the warming that we're observing, then there should be, uh, there should be some, a conclusive statistic on how much CO2 is man-made and how much is, uh, is, was already in the atmosphere to begin with. And from there, the debate escalated quickly. Did you actually see this overhead? Did you see this? See, uh, you, might, you were talking about solar you know, flux for a minute, and uh, I was just wondering if you could see that uh, solar flux has really not changed much. Right, we're not talking about, see, what you're talking about, CO2 emissions, we're talking about, we're not debating global warming. Global warming is happening. We're just debating the cause of global warming. So, 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 so we're debating the cause of global warming. Where has the CO2 come from? Right, that's what we're debating. It's not it came from, like, from humans. Well, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not conclusive. Did it come from volcanoes? Right, did it? No. <laughs> I'd rather have, I'd rather, essentially, like, if you want to call it, keep my options open. I don't want everyone jumping on the bandwagon that humans are the cause when there's still so many incongruities in a lot of their facts and the theories that we have. All right, scientists have reached their conclusion, and the conclusion is that we're causing it. And as for the winner? Unfortunately, I think that the Democrats won. However, it was only after taking a lot of really low punches and really low blows. The second debate, I think we won mainly because all I heard was a bunch of insults from the Young Democrats. I think that the Young Democrats won in both um, topics, stands down. The Democrats and Republicans debate every quarter, so you can look forward to more action in the spring. Reporting for the Daily Videocast, I'm Marissa McQuilkin.